Well, here's a good question then. Did podcasting kill the radio star or the radio um, host, right? Because that was a job before where somebody as a host of a radio station would just get on. They could be pissed drunk and they would just talk their face off and they would get paid. Yeah. Right. I don't know if it killed the radio host because there's still like, like over here in LA, we got big boy and he's got, you know, he'll, he'll have his segments. There's this. Okay. So if if you guys don't know who big boy is, search him up. And if you do not, if you're just like, I I, I don't know how to search him. You can go on YouTube and just put, put like big boys, uh, 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 phone calls or crank calls. And he does this like, like two to two to four minutes where he calls somebody and he just talks smack. Um, it's hilarious. And then they'll play his music and do everything. But I, he also has his own podcast, like completely separate where they talk, you know, he interviews, you know, other musicians and other celebrities. So I, I think, I think it depends that like, like these, these, uh, and you know, th- these are like real DJs. These aren't DJs that just get on the th- turntables and go chicka, chicka, chicka. like these guys actually like, talk and they have a personality they'll tell stories you know they're they have multiple jobs and i think there's very few people out there that know how to do it like howard stern is not a dj you know neither is joe rogan um but when you look at big boy he's got he's got where he can do the dj thing he can be a storyteller you know so i, I think it's I think it varies. I, I I don't know if I would call it like they killed the, well, the commentators, you know, I would just, I would just say to that it's because he understood the change. Like if you just wanted to stay on the radio and be a radio person, um, you are limiting yourself to the world, right? Um, because he understood, you know, I can have a podcast, I can go on YouTube or I can do whatever, Um, there is more ways of exposures to keep yourself relevant than ever before, for sure. But if somebody just wanted to be, uh, sitting at a, at a, at a mic in a radio station, um, you're always just going to have that little place and you never really know the longevity of your position. Um, that's just what I'm saying, because Mm -hmm. I do think that if, if you do get to the point where, you know, your podcast, uh, gets to a certain level, if you take it to the next one then you can make a lot more than a radio host. <laughs> well, and then especially if you make use of, uh, you, you missed it, you, you needed that, but I'm bumping. But um, <laughs> uh, if you uh, if you aren't, like, we, we exactly what you guys are doing, that's why I give you guys praise and stuff like that, because, and, I want, and I'm going to follow suit and stuff like that, because it's a good guideline, and you guys are forging a path for, uh, creators like like myself and everybody else who whether they like to say it or not are watching and looking because there is a difference of uh, diversifying your content on YouTube. So okay, so you're trying different things. Like that. You guys are diversifying your brand over platforms. Completely different, but along the same mind process. So that's when these radio DJs or radio hosts or anything like that make use of different uh, ve- men, uh, re- mediums. Like he, Howard Stern was on the radio. Then they, he did, he had a TV program where they were showing inside the, the, the studio and the stuff they were doing, um, you know, then going to uh, um, XM radio, which XM radio is like in every, every new car has XM radio. That's the side of that radio because they bought mm-hmm. Cyrus. Our Cyrus and XM radio are the same now, or same company, whatever. Yeah, I have Sirius. Sirius, there you go. Yeah. But it's like, but if you are nowadays just going to sit on one, one platform, then you reap what you sow. You are going to stay stagnant. You're going to stay with your little bit of uh, movement upwards, whatever it is. However, you quantify your existence on on the, in the community. Mine, I used to wanted to be like get the views and things like that. I have been waiting and stalling. If you see, there's nothing that's been happening on my channel because it's all coming in 2021. I've been changing a lot of things and, and I'm going to be, I am, I'm going to be riding your guys' coattails, you know, plain and simple because you guys have such brilliant ideas and there's no way that I can do it in the level that you guys are because I'm not at the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, <laughs> But it, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, uh, we'll be doing different things and stuff like that. And, and 
anybody who isn't prepared to do that, especially with all the changes, rules and regulations that are coming across all platforms, radio, TV, anything like that, not just YouTube, not just the stuff we do, well, then you're going to be left behind, plain and simple. You're going to become stagnant. You're going to be the one that depends on doing borderline community guidelines, strikeable content all the time. And who wants to be stuck and do that? I'm tired of thinking like, geez, will this get it? Should I do this or should I do that? No, I want to be comfortable. I'm doing this, doing that, and and just keep going. Next, 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 just pumping them out. 